Our next speaker is with ANSI, the American National Standard Institute, and it's Monty Bogatz. Thank you very much, Brad. I appreciate it. First, uh, as a lawyer, I must say I'm very happy to be here representing ANSI, but I'm not an ANSI employee. In my day job, I'm Associate General Counsel for IATMO. We develop plumbing codes and standards for the plumbing and mechanical built industries, as well as test and certify plumbing products. That being said, again, I'm very happy to be here today to talk a little bit about ANSI and specifically the ANSI Committee on Education. So first, a little bit of background on ANSI. The American National Standards Institute is a private, nonprofit organization that administers and coordinates the U.S. Voluntary Standards and Conformity Assessment System. In this role, the institute works in close collaboration with stakeholders from both industry and government to identify standards-based solutions to national and global priorities. ANSI fosters the U.S. standardization system by accrediting the procedures of SDOs and approving documents as American national standards. Accreditation as a standards developer represents compliance with an open and equitable consensus development process that protects the rights and interests of every participant through a set of, quote, cardinal principles, those being openness, balance, due process, and consensus. ANSI's impartial third-party audits oversee the integrity of this process, regularly assuring adherence to the Institute's procedures and safeguarding the value of the ANS designation. So that's ANSI. So why does ANSI have a Committee on Education? Well, it all stems from ANSI's belief that technical standards are key to national economy and global commerce. What does the Committee on Education do? This committee looks for opportunities to attract and educate the upcoming generation of U.S. standards professionals. It's about outreach and trying to reach out and um, pass along knowledge and, and build the U.S. standardization system from the ground up. A little bit about the leadership of the committee. There's myself serving as chairman in 2015, our co-chairman Deb Prince from UL, and co-chairman Dr. Steve Elliott from Purdue University, and the committee has more than 70 members representing 23 companies, 22 standards development organizations, three government agencies, 21 educational institutions. And as of 2014, we had six new members. What does this committee do? In 2015, we had a couple of initiatives to try and further our mission. First, we had our fourth annual student paper competition. The theme was Standards Inspire Innovation. Students were asked to use specific examples to demonstrate the part that standards play in boosting business innovation in the U.S. and or around the world. We had a winner, Shane Arlington from Stevens Institute of Technology and William Gabler from NC State. Two cash prizes were awarded, the first place $2,000 for Mr. Arlington, second place $1,000 to Mr. Gabler. The winners are invited to attend an education event in Washington, D.C. in conjunction with World Standards Week, which happens in late September every year, and they're also invited to attend an awards dinner. So going forward, if you're interested, all entries must be written and submitted by an enrolled college or university student at the associate, undergraduate, or graduate level in a U.S. academic institute of higher learning. Internships. ANSI expanded its careers page to include internships offered by the standardization community. We're trying to build a resource bridge between ANSI members and universities. ANSI members and other standardization community stakeholders are invited to send any internship opportunities to ANSI for inclusion in the new site. We're trying to connect the disparate entities that are all out in the U.S. standardization system and build any linkages that we can. Standard simulations. In coordination with the U.S. National Institute of Standards and Technology, which is NIST, we are working on setting up standard simulations throughout 2015. One is setting standards, a simulation exercise in strategy and cooperation in the standardization process. We have fictional, lifelike exercises to expose students to interesting challenges and opportunities in standards work. One such simulation was held May 8th at the Rochester Institute of Technology, and this was for students. On September 30th, during World Standards Week, there's going to be a simulation for emerging standards professionals. This is an opportunity for members of your staff with less than five years of standards experience to engage in a standards education exercise, an opportunity to reach and engage students and faculty from colleges and universities that are not already involved in this committee on education. 
We have outreach to students, we have outreach to emerging professionals, we try and reach them wherever they are to get them interested in the U.S. standardization scheme. So what does the ANSI, ANSI and the ANSI Community and Education offer to students and professors? Well, ANSI's primary educational tool is the website Standards Learn. This is a free and publicly available resource providing ANSI-developed educational content to a broad audience, including students and professors. For students, we have the aforementioned paper competition, the standard simulation, as well as free e-learning courses. For professors, we offer membership on the committee, networking opportunities, access, free e-learning courses, standardization case studies, and guest lectures. Wanted to make special mention of the university outreach program we have, which makes standards available to educators to build into their curriculum. It's a terrific resource. We can talk about that, Brent. Further initiatives there's a joint ANSI Committee on Education, U.S. National Committee, Communications and Continuing Education Committee Task Force on Emerging Professionals. This is a multi-year plan for enhanced engagement of students and emerging professionals. Components of this plan include national events, competitions, internships, mentoring, and communications. The goal of this committee, again, is to be out there, to assist, and to try and be a resource for anyone in the U.S. standardization system who's seeking one. At the end here, I have the actual ANSI employee who works on this committee, and her contact information is there should anyone have any further questions, as well as my own contact information will be available. Thank you, guys.